President of the Lao PDR, Jumali Sanyason, on Wednesday, the 17th of September, received a courtesy visit from delegates of the 35th ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly, or AIPA, which is being hosted in Vientiane from September 14th to 20th. Welcoming the delegates at the Presidential Palace, the Lao President spoke highly of the visit to Laos in order to attend the 35th AIPA. He said it was his honor and he was delighted to receive the guests. President Jumali congratulated and thanked the heads of delegations and their delegates for attendance at the 35th AIPA hosted by Laos, saying that their participation reflected the support from the AIPA member parliaments being extended to Laos in hosting the meeting. He said the 35th AIPA provided an opportunity for the delegates to discuss important issues to boost cooperation among the AIPA member parliaments. As the ASEAN member states are striving to establish the ASEAN community by 2015, the Lao President said the 35th AIPA, which is being run under the theme Strengthening Parliamentary Cooperation in the ASEAN Community Building, was significant and coincided with the important time. He told the guests, I am confident that the outcome of this AIPA will contribute to increasing the cooperation of AIPA and relevant sectors of ASEAN in order to contribute to the ASEAN community integration. President Jumali told the delegates that Laos will resume presidency of ASEAN for the second time in 2016, the first year after the ASEAN community is set to be established. He expressed his confidence that Laos will continue to receive support from ASEAN member countries, AIPA, dialogue partners, friendly countries, and regional and international organizations. On this occasion, President Jumali told the delegates that Laos had consistently adhered to its foreign policy of peace, independence, friendship, and cooperation. He informed the guests that Laos had enjoyed political stability and social order since the Lao People's Democratic Republic was proclaimed in 1975, with living conditions of the people also gradually improving. Later, President of the Lao National Assembly and President of the AIPA, Madame Pani Yatotu, also received courtesy calls from dialogue partners and observer countries of AIPA, the delegations including Mongolia, Australia, and Japan. At the top, Madame Pani expressed her highly appreciation and thanked the heads of delegations and their delegates for their attendance at the 35th AIPA hosted by Laos, acknowledging that their participation reflected the support from the AIPA member parliaments being extended to Laos in hosting the meeting. She also said the parliaments were playing an important role in bridging the people and the governments. Madame Pani also spoke of the important mandates of the parliaments in considering critical issues, lawmaking and amendments, which was proven in the fact that Laos and regulations of ASEAN member countries have been increasingly aligned. The parliament's important role is also to consider ratifying various treaties signed among ASEAN countries. For these reasons, Madame Pani said the parliaments had contributed significantly in fostering cooperation within ASEAN and between ASEAN and their external partners, which had enabled them to gain a number of benefits. The 35th AIPA provided an opportunity for the delegates to discuss important issues to boost cooperation among the AIPA member parliaments.